Hi everybody, hope you're all doing okay and um, I just wanted to say hello and welcome you to my channel. Um, hopefully you're going to find the information that I put across to you over the next few videos, however many it ends up being, um, informative and that you will like and subscribe to my channel and I will keep bringing as much content about my new tank as I possibly can. So I'll just give you a bit of an introduction to myself. My name's Craig. I've been um, looking after, well, I've been keeping fish for a while now, but uh, started with, you know, the usual uh, tropical fish and moved on to uh, marines about six or seven years ago. Now, I've had a break of about 18 months, two years um, for, since my last tank. And admittedly, I've never really taken it as seriously as I probably should have done. Um, I've always enjoyed it, but obviously, as you'll all be aware, if, you, if you're watching this video, you will already know that is an expensive hobby and you've got to invest not only your time into it but you've got to also invest your money as well so at some point in time i'll probably try and do a breakdown of what i've actually spent on this tank um and i am hoping that over the next few weeks that these videos will get better in terms of the content because obviously this is the first time i've had to do this but um hopefully you will enjoy it and as i say if you do enjoy it please like the video and please subscribe and um, hopefully you'll come along this journey with me. Now, um, my last tank was, I think it was an EA-1200S, something like that, an Evolution Aqua 1200S, but it was a bit too big, really. Um, so I am now, I've now moved on to um, a Red Sea Max. It's an E170. So it's a plug-and-play tank. Um, it's got all of the, uh, everything that you need in the display tank and then the sump behind it. Um, and I will do a full breakdown going forward of, of um, what's actually in the tank and I will do a little bit of a review on the tank itself. Um, as you can see, at the minute it's got no front door. Uh, that was because of an issue when I unpacked it on Tuesday uh, f from Red Sea. Uh, the front door was damaged. I've actually had the new one delivered now, uh, but I haven't obviously had a chance to fit it. I'll try and do that tomorrow before I do um, my video about the equipment. So. Um, as I say, the tank's a Red Sea Max E170, so it's a 170 litre tank. Uh, it's got a 140 litre display um, tank and then a 30 litre sump, which is to the rear of the tank. Um, the tank comes with uh, all the usual stuff. With it being a plug and play, it's fantastic. So it comes with the Reef LED 90, uh, which seems to be okay at the minute. I'm not 100% sure on it at the moment, so we'll give it a few weeks and see what happens. Um, and hopefully it will... It hope it should make the running of the tank a little bit simple with it being a plug plug and play. Um, if it's your first tank, it's probably not a bad idea to have a plug and play because it means that a lot of the cost is taken away because you've not got to worry about buying a uh, you know a skimmer. Um, you've not got to worry about potentially filter media. It depends on what your views on that are. Um, you still need. I've still spent a lot more than what the tank cost. That's no not in any doubt, but. Uh, we'll go from there and it will, well over the next few videos i'll show you what i've bought um and um hopefully you will find it as i say informative so the in terms of what i hope to achieve from the tank once it's up and running properly i am hoping that maybe um i'm probably going to run a mixed reef um i think uh, fr from what i can read around the internet the the reef led 90 looks like it will be good enough for some sps corals um, but I'm not really looking at any anything in um, any major, um, you know, any of the tough stuff to start with, certainly. So we'll just get cracking with it over, over the coming weeks and months. Um, the tank, it, hopefully within the next three or four weeks, we're now on the uh, 7th of May. Hopefully over the next three or four weeks, by the sort of end of May, start of June, it will have cycled. Um, and we will be in a position where we are ready to stock it with some fish. So I'm just going to take it really slowly because I think that is the key to this hobby. It's very easy, and I've done this in the past, I'm sure you have. It's very easy to get carried away with um, walking into the local fish shop and um, and then seeing everything under the lights and going, right, I need it, I need to get it going. So I've done that before, I've made mistakes, so I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to definitely take my time and let's see how things go. So if you did like this video, as I say, hopefully the content will improve over the next few weeks with it being my first video. If you do like it, please subscribe and I look forward to showing you my next video over the next few days. Thank you.